Hey, what up, ModWorks? What up, Tyler? What up, Jake? What up, Albania? Jerry? What's up, what's up, Jerry? Nothing much, man. So this is what we're making right here. What up, Chris? What up, Luke? Yep, me too, man. What up, Lobo? Uh, probably I'm gonna jump back on the F-250. The F-250 needs some love bad. So we'll jump on that next, I think. I gotta try to find time, we're so busy. a little warm. Or you don't go through car shows anymore. Huh? I mean, I go to a couple here and there, but sorry, my business kind of took off and I got to be around. What up, Ethan? Thank you, man. Yeah, you know what? I do want to put a system in the new Sprinter. Real nice cuts. That's quarter inch steel, you guys. I wanted to do a wall of subs in the shop, but my shop has now turned into something else. There's all kinds of stuff I wanted to do that I I'm probably not going to get around to you anytime soon. You guys keep buying the products, so I have to keep making them. What up, Trav? What's going on, man? Brooklyn's in the house. What's up, Brooklyn? Hell yeah, I mean, I would love to. It's just times are a little different. Those are the days. Now I can fit two because I got a forklift taking up one of my spots. 
Uh, how's the surround sound sounding? Real nice. Lovely. Right on, Trav. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. I know. I need a bigger shop. I need one closer to my house, too. <laughs> what up, Rush? Hey, thanks for checking in on your lunch, man. Appreciate it. Hey, what up, uh, so so you know, how's it going, man? Hey, what up, Amplified Truth? Howdy. Hey, good shit, Master Puppets. Because, uh, I mean, got to have your home system sounding good. I don't know what Brando has anymore. I haven't seen him in two years. Uh, of course, yeah, the weather impacted us. I'm like two weeks behind schedule on everything. We're trying to get all this stuff done. Uh, hey, thanks, James. That's, that was loud. Yeah, Brando, Brando hasn't been here in two years. Sorry. Yeah, but it's real slow. I mean, that's... Every, every tool has its own job. Like for cutting three inch steel, I'd probably want to use a water jet. But for this, definitely a laser. But yeah, that's, I wouldn't mind having a water jet. But for everyday stuff, I don't know if I'd use it. What up, Hayes? Right on, right on. We're just over here cutting shit. I can't really walk away, so I figured I'd go live. Whenever this thing's running, I don't like being too far away from it. How much maintenance? Not really very much at all, really. This is what we're cutting right here. And we're on oxygen. Stainless and aluminum use nitrogen. Steel uses oxygen. No, nothing really. Hell yeah, Amplified. I'm, I'm on my last uh, 900, eight or 900 to go and we got 900,000, yeah. Um, it didn't take me that long, but the one, this program took the longest. The program that this uh, laser runs on took me the longest out of all of them. It's a bitch. One little setting and yeah, you're not cutting. So when I show you guys, when I show you guys this clean cut, that was earned. Ow, that's hot. Ow. Those are all earned. Cause it took me so long to be able to do that. And no one taught me how either. What up little Bello? Thank you, man. Yep, lots of trial and error. For sure. But once you figure out what you want to cut, you save the settings and stuff, and it's good. But 
every new metal, every new thickness, it all cuts different. And you gotta master it. Yeah, if you want, if you need something done, let me know. Yep, they are. Dual alternator brackets. Uh, they're for GM. How long do the tips last? I mean, they don't really do anything. That beam is coming through the middle, so they don't really, they don't get too much on them. I mean, they, they stay pretty fresh. Each one of these is a little different also. So if you look, that's a, that's a double wall. And it's also, I think this one's a, I can't read it, 1.5. Now this is a two, one point, a two slash 1.5. So this one is double walled and this one right here is single walled. One works on um, stainless and aluminum better. The other one works on steel better. And then the different sizes of holes for the air to come through. Right now there's oxygen coming through. It's only about 10 pounds. But when I cut stainless, I'm pushing about 300 pounds, almost 300. Those right there, those are these. That's that's the back half. Let's go. Let's go, good boy. Go on, get away from the laser. Go. Good boy. Baby, come say hi, baby. Baby, come say hi. Baby, come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Not you. Here it comes. Come here, come here. That's what it's like at my shop. All right, big mouth. That's it. Oh, I forgot about it. That was my practice hole. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. I got to do this about nine more times before I'm all done with all these brackets. Just thought I'd go live for a few minutes since I got nothing better to do but stare at my machine and all these other machines. Can't really walk away from them, but uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. I'm out of here. I got to figure out how to shut this off now. Yeah.